A girl was grazed by a bullet during a shooting early this morning in Parkland. All right, so Fox 13's John Hopperstad just got to the scene, and John, deputies think that this could be gang related. What's going on? Yeah, that's what it's sounding like here, Liz. More than 80 shots fired here at this scene, and a lot of the cars here got hit by bullet holes. You see behind me here, several cars hit several times here. There's actually two different scenes in this area of Parkland. But Detectives believe there was a group of people right out here firing at a car going by on Ainsworth Road. A lot of those shots hit cars not just here, but they went into the house across the street grazing a 12 year old girl. She was cleared by medics here, though, not taken to the hospital, but uh, one person was transported to the hospital. Some of these shots also hit the car that was involved driving along here. So that car ended up crashing through a church fence just across the street. Deputy say the driver was hit. He was rushed to the hospital in critical condition and detectives believe again more than 80 shots in all were fired in this area in a short amount of time. A 12 year old girl was hit. Um, she was had a graze wound from a bullet. She was in that white house over there. Uh, her grandmother was in bed and there was a bullet found in the bed next to her as well. Um, another house over here was also hit by the gunfire and then if you just look at the street here there's uh, one, two, three, four, five cars here that have bullet holes in the windows and the doors and stuff. And again, deputies believe this was gang related. The house on this street, they say, was targeted by two drive by shootings on Sunday night into Monday morning. But despite all the shootings here, they have not been able to find any witnesses to what happened here early this morning. I did just talk to the person living in the home where those uh, gunshots uh, went into a lot of the cars. In fact, they're out, he's out there right now checking it out. He says it was like a war zone out here. Again, a 12 year old girl in a home grazed by this gunfire, but the person in the car around the corner taken to the hospital right now in critical condition. If you know anything about what happened here, you're urged to contact the Pierce County Sheriff's Office. We're live in Parkland. John Hopper said Fox 13 News.